Hi, this is Kate from Isalicious Designs and today I'm going to show you how to make Hannibal on a single loom. So, we're going to get started and we're going to do um, his face. The bands, the colours that we're going to need are a flesh tone for his skin. We're going to need a dark brown for his hair and white for his straight jacket. We're going to use caramel for his face mask, orange for his suit and a couple of black. And we're also going to need some of the mini pony beads for his eyes. Okay, we're going to have our loom in an offset position, which means columns one and three are slightly lower than column two. And we're going to be double banding, it means you take two bands and you place them on the pegs as if they were one. The pegs are going to be facing towards you, the open side facing towards you, or the arrow facing towards you. So let's get started and we're going to use our flesh tone bands first. If you see that the flesh tone bands are sort of getting a bit um, twisted on themselves, just run your hook around the edge like that inside and it usually will um, make them untwist. So I'm going to use a couple of brown bands. He's bald, but he has the hair on the side of his head. So I'm going to use a couple of brown bands for that. Now the caramel bands are for his um, mask. He wears a, a face mask. Some of you might not remember who Hannibal Lecter from Silence of the Lambs is. He's, uh, he's a very dangerous man. Basically, he's a, a lunatic. I'm going to do a couple across the face here. Oops, if I can get my bands on the peg push them down a bit is what I need to do. Okay, take a single band and twist it three times and we'll place that over the eyes like this and then what we're going to do, I use a 2.75 crochet dude hook and that fits my beads down very nicely but whatever method you use to um, thread beads, whether it's a twisty tie, there's a YouTube video on my channel on how to make one from a twisty tie, a uh, piece of floss, whatever you use. And we're going to put these across his face like this and move one side of that band up over that peg. So it sort of forms like a, a crossover band, which is what we're looking for. We're going to do three bands for his neck. And then for his shoulders, we're going to start with orange, but I'm going to do a white pair first for his suit. And then I'm going to put two orange this side and two orange this side. And that means that basically when I come to loom up, the white will go on the top of that. So we have his arms to do and we've got too white. This is for his straight jacket. We'll do his body and then we're going to add his arms here. Now his arms are going to be the entire length of this um, loom and you can make it on your hook or you can make it on your loom. So to make it on your loom you're going to need one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight eight yes eight bands and I'm not sure that we really have room one two three four five six seven we do if we use this one we'll start here so I'll show you how to do it on both so place another band here another band here another band here and these are double bands
when you get to that last spot, what we're going to do, a single white band, wrap it once and twice, and slide that onto a pair of white bands like that. And we're going to pop this on the end, and that's actually going to act as our end cap as well. So dig down past this end cap, our hand, and we're going to loom up one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And we're going to take this off the loom, not the orange band, just the whites. Okay, so that is his arm. And we're going to place that on this side here, right there. Okay. Now, you can do the other one on your hook if you want, um, which would mean that you take a single white band, wrap it around your hook once and twice, slide it onto a pair of white bands and reclaim the end. And now we're just going to keep going. That's number one. So we do two, three, four, five. and eight. Now let's just make sure that we've done that right. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yes, I thought we'd have nine there because we had the extra, we added the arm bit, the little hand. So we'll do one more and that's nine. Okay, and that's going to go on this shoulder, but let's put those white bands there first. And now we can put this arm here. So you can do them both ways, it really doesn't matter. Okay, we're going to continue with a couple more white bands. And then I'm going to do a pair of orange here, like that. So you've got one, two, three, and four. Then we're going to do white bands down the side here. Again, it's going to be four. Oops. Four, like that. Now, we are going to put um, our crossover bands over here, single white band, stretch it, and you're going to put that across the three pegs like a triangle. Okay, so we're going to do that. Now we're going to do some black bands. You're going to take two black bands and you're going to wrap it once and twice around your hook. And you're going to get another two black bands. And slide those on like that. Now these are going to go, one side is going to go here and the other side on the peg below it. And these are sort of going to act like the straps that hold uh, the straight jacket together. Let's do another set. And then we put these here too. Oops, stay on there please. There we go. Like that. Okay my bands down. 
Right, so we have a one orange band here. We're going to have a few more orange bands for the trousers. So again, two pair. These are going to go down to the bottom of our loom. And you are going to need two single orange bands stretch put that across these three pegs and one more stretch and put that across these three pegs and this bit of band that's just sort of lying there looking lost we're going to push up and over that end peg there now we're going to do boots for his little feet so take two black bands poke your hook through, wrap it once and twice and you're going to slide that onto two black bands like that. Reclaim the end of your bands, we'll do that again. Two black bands, wrap it once and twice and we'll slide that onto two black bands. Now instead of reclaiming the end of your band you're going to take the first one we did and these two bands that are closest to the end you're going to move up, over and off and onto those bands. Then take these two off and swap places with the other end of the other of the of the bands. And then move these ones up, over and off. So they're all on those two bands. Then you're going to reclaim the end of your bands and twist your foot, your boot, whichever way you want it. So for me it's going to be twisted this way to pop onto this end of this leg here, like that. I'm going to do the same for the other side, so two black bands, wrap once and twice, two black bands, and slide on. Reclaim the end of your bands, two black bands, wrap once and twice, slide on, Now we're going to move these two up, over and off. Hold on to these two bands here and move, swap places. And then move these ones up, over and off. And reclaim the end of your band. Like that. That one points that way. And we'll stretch this out and put it on the end of the leg. Like that. Okay, I think we are ready to loom. We've got feet, we've got crossover bands, we have arms, we have eyes. Let's get on with this. Pull the foot back and loom up his orange pants. When you get to a crossover band, you're going to push the crossover band back with the back of your hook and just grab those two bottom bands. With this, there is nothing for it to be um, pushed back against, so you just loom it up. Loom this up to the shoulders. Now with these, you're just going to go for the white bands. So push those black bands back and loom up. These will poke through. Okay. Grab the two bottom white bands and loom up. Now, before we loom these whites, we want to do the orange across. So loom one side and then the other side, push them down. Now we're going to loom the white up so that the white is on the top. Dig down and find three of the flesh tone bands and loom them up. Now we're on the caramel for the face mask. You're going to dig down and find the two top ones 
and do my cross. Now, I actually want to do um, the side ones first and then the middle one. So I'm going to dig down and find the two caramel bands here and loom across and loom across. Hey, you can stay back there, thank you. <laughs> and now I'm going to move the middle one up. To lock these into place, I'm going to dig down and find the two skin tone and loom them up. And then I know that that's all locked into place. Digging down here and finding the two skin tone and the two skin tone. Then we're going to do hair. And grabbing two skin tone bands, going to push your hook down the middle of this peg here and poke it out the side. Grab those two bands, and we're going to pull them through back through the middle of that peg and out to the back side of it and reclaim your bands. Then the two that are closest to you, you take up over and off your hook, and we're going to pull this tight into a slip knot. Now he's ready for us to take off the loom. So I'm going to use my hook and I'm gently going to ease him off. Okay, so we have him off the loom. Now don't worry too much about all the black that you're seeing here. What we're going to do is poke these bits through. Pull them through like that. And if you need a hook, do it with a hook. So they poke through like that. Now his arms are what are going to be crossed over him like so and you're going to attach those at the back together and the way to do that is to put your hook through the um, crossover band crossover bands the end caps like this grab a single white band and slide both of those end caps through it reclaim the end of your band Take one end over the other and pull tight so that it's formed a slip knot. So you can see that he is, um, he's got his arms crossed around him like this. He's in a straight jacket. Now, the loop here, I'm sorry, I didn't mean to hit the uh, camera. The loop here, what you can do is just hide it in the, um, bands of the arm because he's in it it's in a slip knot it's not going to go anywhere so just gently go through some of the bands and pull this through like that now for his eyes Oh, let's do the loops on the top of his head. Again, I'm going to just grab some of them, or the two of them, and pull them back under some of these bands. But I, I need to be careful because I don't want to distort the shape of his head. So I'm just trying to grab one band at a time, pull it through.
and then move them through the bands at the back of his head. If you feel that you would like to put a clip on these, that's fine too. But I'm usually quite s secure with the, the fact that there's a slip knot there. Um, I'm going to use a Sharpie to draw his eyes on. like that and there we have our little lunatic now if you want his arms to be longer go ahead make them a little bit longer that's completely up to you but there we have Hannibal Lecter on a single loom take care